Hi, I'm John and this is the seventh update to my Commodore 64 OS project. I have been busy rewriting a lot of the Windows framework in the operating system, so I didn't have a video ready until now. <clears throat> but uh, let's uh, get into it and see if I have something new to show you. You will uh, immediately see that... Uh, oh no... Clippy, you're in the wrong operating system. I am writing an operating system, yes, and uh, I don't need your help. <clears throat> I, I know Windows don't always have title bars. <sighs> How do you get this thing to get a, go away? Uh, yeah, I know. It took a lot of space. Mm, 64 characters just wasted. That's still silly, right? Uh, <laughs> ha ha, that's a good one. <laughs> but how do I close this thing, right? Uh, uh, oh no. I actually don't have any way to kill tasks, do I? I can't right click here or do anything. Doesn't have a close button, no. So I, I don't know what's going on here. Mm. Maybe tasks menu? No, doesn't have any way for me to close it. Hmm. Oh wait, I think I know. I, I think I saw something in this application, right? Uh, was it in this one? No. Is that, oh, there it was. Yeah, 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 right. So how do I use this? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it working? Uh, go away. I don't want you here, Clippy. I don't need your help. Go away. Go away. Come on. Come on. Go away. Yeah. Oh, finally. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> yeah, so... Um, uh, I've added uh, the support for sprites, among other things, um, but uh, what you probably will notice immediately is that um, uh, the bottom taskbar here has been changed. <coughs> I had uh, an idea about having the inverted set, because one of the problems with the, with the framework, or the way I made it, was that I thought it would be too limiting to just have a black text you know always black text so the only thing you can do here is change the background color and use all 16 colors but you can't actually color the text so i thought that okay maybe some applications can use the black background and then color the text instead <clears throat> so i had this inverted character set as part of it but that's 64 characters so it didn't leave a lot of characters for applications to use uh, as custom characters, which is an important part of the of the operating system. So uh, I've decided to get rid of it, <laughs> and uh, I will uh, rather than that, I'll probably make it so that applications can choose to install uh, that font uh, if they need to color text, uh, like a console application or something. Uh, but maybe those applications has to have some kind, uh, some way to <clears throat> revert to the standard one that's not inverted if uh, there's not enough room for it. <clears throat> so a new thing that's uh, also come in here is the ability to change the font, which that becomes a little bit easier now because I don't have the inverted one which had a few mixed system characters um, into it, um, so I can change it. I've got some <coughs> complaints about this font. You think that it's too thin, you know, I just drew up a font because I wanted to have something that looked uh, different than the standard Commodore 64 font. <coughs> Common for these fonts is that uh, they're actually just uh, six lines high. Uh, so I'm using now... Um, um, seven by six uh, lines and the reason for that is that I wanted the, the small line above the text here and the small line below so that's how so it doesn't stick to the edge because it doesn't look very well and the, the standard font uh, just uh, gets it too close to, to the edge which I didn't like so all of these fonts that I created here are 
<coughs> made in a similar type. So I have a smaller one here, if someone likes that. You know, it's possible to uh, install uh, new fonts. So it's very easy to load new ones. And I have this one, which is like a wi wider version. Uh, it's like the thin one here, but wider. And then I also added this more chunky, you know, angular one. I kind of like this one, actually. I've been using that a lot, so it's very clear, at least. So, um, yes, so that's one of the things I've changed. Um, and uh, as you will remember, I have, uh, you saw that Clippy was made of sprites. So I've started a framework for adding uh, custom sprites to an application. Um, still not finished with that. So it's just early days. I, I still have things that I want to try out. Um, but uh, anyway, you can um, have a demonstration here I can show you. You can, for example, have uh, the boing ball. <laughs> so, so this is uh, the classic Omega boing ball in a very small version. Um, but uh, anyway, you can see that uh, the sprite is sticking to the window. So it's that's part of the point of the sprites is that uh, it's uh, relative to the, this corner of the window. So <coughs> Clippy was also relative to this corner, but he was outside the frame where the window was. So that's uh, important. A bit, but I'm still not finished uh, with the sprites. Uh, I'm going to put it aside for a while now because uh, it works now for adding sprites, simple sprites for uh, games and stuff already. Uh, but I have some things I want to extend it with. <clears throat> so uh, one thing that I can show you immediately is that you can have more than one. Uh, you notice that the moment this got focused, it stopped updating the sprite. <clears throat> so it should actually hide the sprite uh, because uh, there is a problem here of course <laughs> if I move this window down here you can see the sprite is on top here so there is no way for me to have it under this window because then I would have to do clipping and editing the sprite real time and stuff like that and that's impossible you know that's uh, so it should actually disappear but I've kept it on top now uh, because I wanted the Clippy demonstration to work uh, uh, without Clippy, uh, Clippy disappearing every time I click the different window. So, But if you have st started two different here you can actually uh, switch between them and you can see that one, the one that's uh, in focus gets the sprite the priority. So. I probably won't be doing any sprite multiplexing here. Um, the extent that I will do multiplexing is perhaps multiplexing the mouse with this uh, icon, the, the one down here. But even that can be a bit difficult because uh, <laughs> you often have the mouse down here as well. So uh, I might just make it so that uh, when you allocate sprites <clears throat> it sort of digs into the available sprites that the system uses including the mouse so it's limited reduced to maybe one sprite or even changed into software sprite uh, if that's possible so we'll see about that um, but anyway another thing that you saw that I added uh, was uh, title bars uh, our windows don't have to have title bars so now you can finally uh, do stuff like this you can uh, start settings and we can go in here and you can change the, to something more fitting so I have a little ninja star here but I wanted this one yeah you know real uh, <laughs> real uh, tapestry or uh, what's it called and then we can go into this demo and we can open uh, windows real windows you know finally we can have real windows yeah so these are um, windows without any titles and as it is now I don't even have a close button on them, but I could make a custom close button 
uh, it's possible for the application to uh, uh, to exit itself of course so you can have a button that you click or something that you do like Clippy when he disappeared he, the, the task was ended and the windows are disposed so <clears throat> a big part of the rewrite that I did and took a long long time is a better separation between tasks and windows uh, when I started this project, I started making windows, you know. The first thing I made was just like, I wanted to make some kind of window, you can move it about. So it was just for fun, it didn't have any operation, it only had uh, some text inside of it. And then, of course, I thought that, okay, I wanted to see if I can uh, run some kind of code that updates the content of the window. And that's how the whole project was born. So uh, it's, uh, you know, it's not, um, uh, you know, these projects, they start uh, in small ways and then they extend and then you realize that you've created the whole thing the wrong way. <laughs> and uh, the window framework, I had a lot of uh, systems, uh, you know, it's sort of assumed that every task had a window. Right. So now the, the separation will eventually more easily enable me to have more than one window from one task. And that will be important for uh, uh, things like uh, right-click drop-down menus and combo boxes and all the kinds of things. And that's why I also wanted to have uh, <coughs> windows without any title bars because those uh, uh, drop down menus and stuff are after all just windows but uh, without any title bars so so in time i hope i will have that uh, probably start on the menus uh, uh, as soon as possible uh, because i won't really want to get that into the system as well um, i think that's all i have to demonstrate uh, this time uh, I haven't been working anything with the file system, so no uh, updates to the uh, file manager here either. Uh, a lot of uh, good suggestions, and uh, I will likely do a lot of them, like uh, showing the folder name up here. Uh, some people were worried that the, the <coughs> fake folder system would not be good enough because uh, uh, the SDIO, uh, SD, uh, what's it called? SD, uh, <laughs> I can't remember. The, the SD card uh, um, hardware has real uh, folders you sort of mount a drive. And I will try to find a way to support that. Um, I'm a bit worried that. Uh, uh, these devices operate on a mode, so you change a uh, mode of the device and um, and uh, then uh, all file operations to that device is always to that mode of the device. So that means that you can't have two files uh, file uh, systems open like this. Uh, oops, <laughs> it showed some junk there. Um, uh, two file systems open like this and then uh, they are the same SD card but you have mounted two different uh, drives because you need to issue commands to change the directory for each of them but depending on operation so uh, it can be a bit difficult to abstract this uh, in the file system but uh, I will maybe try to attempt that uh, when I get that far with the file system so but um, I will at least support this SD card uh, hardware which is very important okay so that's all I have to show this time so uh, until next time <laughs>